Hello and welcome to an original retry this production. Today I'll be teaching you how to create an energy bar in Game Maker. An energy bar can be a power bar or power meter, whatever you want to call it. Can be used for special attacks, transformations, and other things like that. So what I have here, I have a player, an object that's going to give the player some power and we're going to have to create an energy control object that control manages the energy in the power meter. So we'll go to create object. We'll call it obj underscore energy. Energy C for energy controller. And let's go to add event create set variable. Because in my last tutorial I did on my old, old account, some person managed to mess up. Actually more than one person managed to mess up the simple code global dot energy equal to 100 that's a code that somehow some per two people managed to mess up and it just really sickened me so I don't want to do a code in this one I'm gonna select okay global dot energy set to 100 if that messes up I'm sorry you need help so you're gonna add event after that, you want to go to Add Event, Draw, and we want to draw the health bar. So we're going to draw, and we're going to select Draw a Rectangle. For X1, what I need to get the coordinates. Okay, these are just the coordinates I'm using. You should customize them to fit your game. So for me, I'll say View underscore X View. That's it. View underscore Y View plus 10. And also, you should set, for x2, you want to set view underscore x view plus global dot energy and view underscore y view plus 10 plus 10. Don't do plus 20, because I had an instance where I tried that and it didn't work. And then I was wondering how to fix it. I just did 10 plus 10 because I was bored and then it actually worked. So yeah, so we have the settings, so even if you have a side-scrolling game, it'll follow the view, so it doesn't hurt you if you don't have a side-scrolling game, or if you do. Set the build, okay. And also, to add an extra bonus, I guess, we can set the color. Go to the settings tab and put the set color event, set color action in front of it. And I like my energy bar blue. Uh, you can also put an outline around it. Um, you can just like copy this event, hold on, copy, paste, uh, and set this one to outline, so it'll just draw a black outline around it, so it'll still be the same, well, it'll just draw an outline around it, and so, yep, that's pretty much how you create an energy bar, I'll show you how to, how to add power to the energy bar, so this is what you would do, add event, collision with the player, the so collision with the player that you have. You want to be very specific on this to make sure the energy bar doesn't go over 100 or become negative 5 or something like that. So I'll show you. Okay, since I like the number 30 in my tutorial, I'm going to make the energy object add 30. So I want to control set variable, test variable, if global dot energy smaller than 70. It means if it's 69 or lower. So what I want it to do, I want to destroy instance. So it will destroy itself. And then I want it to um, control set variable global dot energy. Set it to 30 and relative. So it'll add 30 if your health is smaller than 70. So the max it can have is 69. Not the max, but you'll get it. You'll see. Else, if global test variable global dot energy seven no sixty nine larger than so global dot energy is larger than sixty nine, which means if it's seventy or higher. Um, main one destroy instance applies to self and control set variable global dot energy to 100 
And that is how you make an energy object to give energy to the player. So if it's smaller than 70, which means if it's 69 or higher, or 69 or lower, it will give the player 30 energy. If it's larger than 69, which means if it's 70 or higher, it will automatically set the energy to 100. So let me show you what it looks like. So hold on. Okay, I didn't think that through all the way. Honestly, I didn't. So um, I figured out that since the energy is already 100, I can't actually use the power object because it's already at 100, so I won't really do anything. So I'll just reset it to 70. I'll reset it to 70 to show you guys what it looks like. Just to show you guys what it looks like, I'll just set it to 70. Because I can't show it, the power object because the health bar, the energy bar is already at 100. So I'll just, you probably understand what I'm saying. Okay, here we have it. The energy bar, I set it to 70. Like I said, I set it to 70 because you wouldn't be able to see the actual power object. Because the actual object, this object will work here because I didn't, I wasn't smart enough to set it so it would see, see it. So when I touch it, our health energy bar goes up to 100. And yeah, it works out perfectly. This has been an original. We try this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, also, my next tutorial will cover adding features to your energy bar, like um, recharging it and draining it when a player is transformed, is in a transformed state, or recharging it and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's really good. So.